Well, on Friday, the island and Pigeon Forge will turn purple for Alzheimer's Tennessee. The organization usually hosts a walk every year at Smoky Stadium, but as Emily DeVoe tells us, they're taking a different approach for 2020 to make the event not only safe, but fun for the entire family. What usually begins with a ribbon cutting and a walk start here, right here, here at the balloon arch. Uh -huh. We'll take on a new format this year. Yes. And then we have the purple flamingos too, right? Yes. Volunteers yeah. with Alzheimer's Tennessee are gearing up for what they're calling family fun night at the island. To put it in an atmosphere like this at Christmas time um, makes it extra special. So we've not ever done this before. And we really uh, look at it as we're being honored to be able to do this. Like many volunteers, Barbara Jowins has a personal connection to the disease. It's really nice to see what a beautiful lady she was. She lost her mother more than two decades ago. It's the longest goodbye that you, you ever go through. So not only did, uh, did I not have my mother, my children didn't have their grandmother. And so we have put these signs together this year and uh, we're really proud of them. They're Signs with pictures of loved ones will decorate an area called a walk down memory lane where guests can go through at their own pace. I started going to the walk as an individual participant and now I've started a team. Jill Smith is co-chairing the event with Barbara. She lost her grandfather to Alzheimer's and is grateful for a way to connect with others over their shared experience. It's so much work but it's so much fun and it's so rewarding to see all of the participants come out and all the families get together. While there's not a traditional start like the ribbon in years past, <laughs> guests will enjoy a special fountain show and ceremony at 7. The rest of the evening is on their own time with scavenger hunts around the shopping center and a free ride on the Ferris wheel. As you can see, it's very spread out. Um, they have so many fun things for the children to do. They've got coffee shops and sweet shops and all the restaurants will be open during that time. So it's a great way to come out and come together, but everybody will be separated at the same time. This is where it'll start. And coming together is something no one takes for granted this year. I'm Emily DeVoe reporting. Boy, going to be a great event. The Ferris wheel ride, scavenger hunt and other Alzheimer's activities. We'll be going on Friday evening between 4 and 10. While the event is free, if you donate at least $25, you can get an unlimited ride pass to use all weekend long.